<laughs> I'm sorry, I must apologize. It's been story time here before we came on the air. Welcome to Daytime Ottawa. Always a pleasure having you join us here today. And of course, always a pleasure having our guests. We're going to talk a little theater on today's show. Um, the amount of live theater productions coming back has just been absolutely incredible. And the Phoenix players are celebrating their 20th anniversary. We'll catch up to them. But let's go to our first guest. We've been having a great conversation with our storytelling so far. Uh, Andrea and King joins me. Uh, she is the owner of Ottawa Artisans. Welcome to the show. Thank great you to have very you here. Much. So happy to be here. It's wonderful to have you. Let's talk about the inspiration behind this. How did this all start for you? So it looks like it's a great pandemic project. It wasn't. Okay. So February okay. 1st, 2020, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to start. You're a ahead of the curve. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm making busy books. I'm on maternity leave. I want to okay. sell them. And Instagram, it's hard to sell online because then you don't get payment. There's a lot of stuff that can happen yeah. wrong. So having an official website is important, but it's very costly. Okay. So I'm thinking, okay, well, let's get people in Ottawa together, create this platform where you can find products all handmade, only in Ottawa. So if you want, you can go pick it up or you can ship it, but it's made by your neighbors, your community. It's amazing. February 1st, go ahead, start the website. We have, you know, 30 artisans. We're hitting the ground running. Mm -hmm. It's going well. And then, spoiler alert, the pandemic happens. Right. Everything shuts down. All those poor makers, they lose, some of them lose their, their livelihood. They lose their places to sell their craft. So we really had to, to be the place for them to kind of come together and create their little website, showcase their products. And since then, we've been selling everything local, handmade in Ottawa. Uh, and we have a few makers from Gatineau as well and outside Ottawa, but mostly it's made right here in our backyard. So, so did they find you? Did you find them? Because uh, you, you mentioned what it was like 30 that's you yeah, start how many it. do you have now how many makers close to 975 what? yes so oh, we have 17,000 products right now on the website wow. so you can't don't forget about Etsy forget about Amazon yeah. just go there you can find the best things made in Ottawa but yeah we started with only about 30 I found them mostly on social media but then the word spread and at the very beginning we became became one of the first place to sell non-medical face masks as well because okay. you can find them in Walmart you can find them at Costco people had to rely on their communities and makers people that had never sewn in their entire life picked up a sewing machine and started making masks right to donate to give to other people so we were yeah, one of my best friends was was doing well it. there I you mean, go so yeah. we we're a place for people to also find masks uh, locally in ottawa so that's really kicked off our website and since then now we do craft and artisan products as well not only that now you you actually have brick and mortar locations we do. like this is an amazing I, I hope you understand how much of an amazing su success story thank this is thank you yeah. it takes a team so uh, as we started the website when we started our first year I met up with two other entrepreneurs from Ottawa uh, Kathy Leadham and Jeff Parker okay and uh, with their help we have now seven locations open so you can find us at Tanger Outlets uh, the Bayshore Shopping Center Place d'Orleans Billings Bridge Saint Laurent and at Saint Laurent Plaza we also have two more pop-up just for the holidays. Wow. So some makers make things that are more well, seasonal, Well, yeah, let's, let's right? do a little show and tell. Yeah. You got me all excited. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's start over here. What have we got over here? Okay, so this is from uh, Suzy Q T Design. And so I would just want you to touch it. What do you think it's made out of? Well, it's, I don't know. Uh, so this is not yarn. This no. is not anything that you know. So she actually is, is it makes... recycled, like yes, fabrics? Yes, yeah, so it's recycled uh, fabric and T-shirts. So oh, she really? takes the T-shirt, she cuts strips, and then she uses it to knit uh, the item. <laughs> it's crazy. This is a cute little it. octopus that yeah, she no made. Kidding. Yeah, no kidding. This is adorable. What about up here? What have we got so, up here? This is my shameless plug. This is my this is handmade yours. business. You're allowed. These two. <laughs> You're allowed to do that. So this is my Norton Leaf Co. So I make uh, scrunchies, wood earrings as well, uh, and then this T-shirt uh, on so top adorable. of it. So adorable. I love the earring. A little Thank gingerbread, you. man. I don't know if we can. Yeah, okay. You can see that at home. That's amazing. Thank you Beautiful very much. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's move on. What do we got over Perfect. here on the table? So this one, if you want to pick them up, actually, it's this from uh, Glow Arty. So you can find them on the website. Okay. And it's a 3D printed oh, glow-in-the-dark cool. uh, drag. So I actually Look got one for that. my daughter as well for Christmas. So you can kind of play with them. They do eggs. They do a bunch of really cool stuff in it. All glows in the dark. So. I love it. It looks amazing. Great job there. Yeah. All right. What else have we got? So over uh, doggy bandanas and okay. then this bag, which I can assume what you you can guess what it's for. It's a well. doggy poop bag. Well, of there course, you go. So. It's a it's a stylish one. It's stylish. Right? It doesn't you can scream. Clip it. I'm carrying this to pick up my dog's <laughs> poop. Yeah. That's right. And then you never get kind of caught when you go on a walk, and you, you know what I mean. So yeah. it clips. You can have it on you as well. Excellent. Uh, if you kind of move on around yeah, here, I'll keep this for the end because okay. I want you to okay. kind of end on on this. All but right. This candle is from Beaver and Wood. 
If you have people that don't like candles, this is the candle for that. Really? Give it a smell and let me know what. Okay. I mean, you can see what it says. Oh, no, I'm not going to look at it, actually. I'm not going to look okay. at it. Let's see hey. if you can. Oh, it smells like um, barbecue, campfire, or something like there that. There you go. So that's the fireside candle. So this one has been the best seller because really? it smells like a fire. When you light it, it smells awesome. Oh, there it says fire. Look yeah, at that. there you go. It says fireside. fireside. It's I didn't too... cheat everybody at home, <laughs> if you're wondering. I did not see that earlier, which is great, right? Because some people have, like, you know, the electric fireplace or even a propane, exactly. right? And you don't get that same smell. And, and then some people really you despise. Just cheat. I hear a lot of the men that really don't like candles. This one, psh, okay. it's, a, it's, a, okay. it's a hit. So check it out. All right. What about this here? This one is a mug from uh, Pretty Loft Design. It's my friend Terry uh, and she has a lot of mugs that I couldn't bring on TV but this one I could <laughs> so you can okay. find her in all of her stores as well they're kind of fun and punny and, and for everybody nice. in your life Love you it. always think you have too many mugs you don't you just need well you, you need something festive and the Grinch go. I mean it's it's there probably my, my go-to the original Grinch Okay. <laughs> My, the new animated one is I, great too. I I'm like not that one. I have to let's say. Let's talk about this. Tell me about so this, this little guy. So this is from Star by Curios, and it is a uh, grumpy. They call them the ball humbug uh, <laughs> snowman. So it's a little <laughs> decor. She has a few, a full suite of them. Some of them have birds on the head. So it's two sisters uh, from Stittsville that, and that's needed needle felted. So it's a piece of felt that you poke with the yeah. needle to get the shape. My of wife it. So just started doing that. She's well, making little mice. She little should join Auto Artisans. There you Maybe go. Maybe she should. All yeah. right. Tell me about uh, what uh, else so you got here. This one is from Polypus. So this is uh, sea glass art. Okay. So everything is made from sea glass uh, pebbles and that are either cut or uh, located like that. So she very cool. Oh, has, I'm gonna just turn it over here. Yes, I didn't please go ahead. What camera we were on? There she we go. has the Parliament. She's made a lot of. She gave me a lot of custom things as well. She made my mom's uh, childhood home. In a, no way. Yeah, that I gave. Everybody cried. It was amazing. But oh, that's we great. Gave it to her as a gift. I love it. So love she it. can do that. Everything made with sea glass, uh, which is just an incredible talent. Do me a favor and turn this one uh, towards yeah, Stephanie's camera over there. Yeah, there so we go. This one is from Quilligri Creations. It's okay. quilled uh, paper. So it's a really? piece of paper that you fold and that you position. I. It blows my mind. Like, I can't do this. There's no way. No, but she'll I have mean, to teach me, I guess. But uh, I'm not the artist in our family. <laughs> I'm just like the, the theater talker guy. That's what my wife calls me. You're the talker guy. I'll do the drawings and the painting. Well, Let's go over to this quickly here. Okay, so this is from K&K Funky Freeze. Have you okay. ever had freeze-dried freeze food before? Yes. Okay, yeah, so yeah. this is a candy that you will recognize by the color. It's a Skittle. It's a Skittle. Right? It's okay. a Skittle. So give it a try and let me know what you think. All right. Oh, man. So That's it's completely really different. So usually they're very chewy, so yeah. that makes it really kind of crunchy and different. So they do a bunch of different freeze-dried candy. Uh, you can find them in all the stores as well. That is delicious. Yeah, it's good. Eh? It's completely different. <laughs> Just put those over there for now. Uh, remind everybody the virtual... So yes. your holiday one is happening, what, That's December right. 9th? Yeah, December 9th to the 12th. So okay. you go on ottawaartisans.com. More than 200 makers will participate. Okay. And you can shop from all of them, build a big cart, and then you can pick up your order for free at one of the stores. We partner with Go For It Deliveries. Which oh, is we're another, having them on the show. I know, you They're, told me. Okay, so there you go. Wonderful. So he's coming on Thursday, but they do our local delivery. So it's wonderful. a flat rate. And then Canada, USA shipping as well. Excellent. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank Congratulations you on much. all your success. We'll be right back.